Welcome to another episode of The Dawn Show. I'm your host, Lumkum Dumbo. <laughs> I know you guys are expecting The Dawn, but we decided to switch it up a bit. So today we're going to be talking about the PSL Roundup. As you can see, I'm wearing a Morocco Swallows top. Not necessarily a fan, but you know, the sponsor said we must do it, so we have to do it. Yeah, Swallows is back in the PSL, which is great news. I'm happy for them because they're a big team in South Africa, you know. Uh, the Duba Bears are flying high once again with the big teams in South Africa. Uh, Bulugwane City, unfortunately, got relegated. Uh, yesterday, or over the weekend rather, we found out that uh, Black Leopards as well have stayed up because they were fighting for promotion with Ajax, with TTM as well, who already have their PSL status. So Leopards is back in the PSL. Unfortunately though, the big issue here is <laughs> A team called Mamelo the Sundowns won the league and unfortunately we didn't by we I mean Kaiser Chiefs. It was a very impactful season. I feel like a lot of uncertainty, especially with the COVID-19. But fortunately the PSL pulled it off and the season finished. So the roundup we're gonna be doing is checking out how exactly it went. Sundowns, like already said, they won the league, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> Kaiser Chiefs bottled it last game of the season. I'm still crying, you won't tell by my face, but I'm still crying. And we shockingly uh, didn't win after staying on top for a year, I think. Yes, it was a year. I think it's the first team to do that. And with that being said, we actually decided to go a different route as now we've hired Kevin Hunt as our new coach. So the supporters are happy about that appointment. We're hoping for some changes, but unfortunately we still have that transfer ban. So we're not sure how that's gonna go. We're hoping that it's going to be overturned and we can actually buy the players we need because if you look at the current crop we have, it's not going to, it's not going to go well again because it's the same players with a different coach. As good as Kevin Hunt is, I'm not sure he can transform the club as, as much as we would like the club to be transformed, you understand? So I'm hoping we get the transfer ban lifted and then we get the new players that we desperately need. On that note, let's look at the new teams in the PSL, starting of course with the Morocco Solos team that are back. How will they fare in the PSL? They haven't been in the PSL for a lot of seasons now. I think it's natural that they're going to struggle, you understand. Um, we haven't really heard of any big name signings from Solos. They do have a lot of experienced players like Cheeseboy, Mugwena, Vuyo Mary. But then age is not on their side, to be totally fair, but they are still decent players with bucket loads of experience so I think they will come in handy but I really foresee a Morocco solo struggling in the PSL I'm not saying they're gonna automatically go down but I'm not seeing them pick up where they left off when they had the likes of Shabang was still playing there and the likes of Gordon Iggerson as their coach when they were a great side you understand another team to look out for is the new boys that took over Vets TTM I'm sorry I can't say their name I don't, I don't mean to be rude or anything that name I, I can't even try so yeah, TTM, honestly speaking, based on the performances that we saw in the playoffs, I can safely say they're going to struggle in the PSL unless they make major changes. Major changes in terms of personnel, major changes in terms of the attitude the players have, you know. I feel like most of the players there were just too happy knowing that they're going to be playing in the PSL and they actually stopped playing in a sense, you understand, because in the playoffs they were horrendous horrendous and I'm just and I'm putting that lightly you understand so in the PSL it's a different ball game it's like a playoff every game you know every team wants to take points away from you so I actually do see TTM struggling a lot this season they are my candidates to actually be relegated automatically the other new boys joining us that bought a status from Highlands Park is TX Galaxy so we already read up that um, they coming back, no, they're not coming back, sorry. <laughs> they are new to the PSL, not coming back because this is their first time in the PSL. They bought the status of Highlands Park. So Highlands Park is unfortunately uh, no longer there with us. <laughs> so yeah, TS Galaxy, they brought back Dan Malisela, the coach. So he is an experienced coach. He already won the net bank against KZ Chiefs. Again, a painful memory. He already won the net bank against KZ Chiefs. So I actually do see him staying up because tactically he's that good. I do see TX Galaxy staying up. They just need a couple of decent players because Dan's tactics are actually quite good. But my candidates for relegation are, like I already said, TTM. So they really need to beef up their squad. Another part I'd like us to touch on is the, the 20, 
2020 and 2021 season, how I foresee it happening. As a fan, obviously, I'd like to say KZ Chiefs will win the league this time. But then I learned that lesson the hard way because we didn't win it the last time. But with Kevin Hunt, like I said, there's, there's renewed hope, you know, there's, there's a fresh air of optimism in the club. It feels like we can do something different this time around because he's an experienced coach, he's won the league four times with two different clubs. So I feel like Kayser Chiefs will be in the running should Gavin Hunt get his wishes of playing his way. Uh, Kayser Chiefs definitely in the running. Mamelo de Sundowns might unfortunately win the league again. Unfortunately, I say because I do not support Sundowns, <laughs> but they're they're a great they're a great team and they've bought a lot of players. I'm not sure if we don't have FIFA fair play rules in South Africa. I don't think buying a lot of players like that is allowed. But then again, you can't really argue with a billionaire, can you? You understand? <laughs> so they bought a lot of players yesterday. They announced um, Peter Shaolile, Motobi Mvala, you know, from Highlands Park. They, they, they bought Kapinga as well from Black Leopards. They bought a lot of players in. They bought a lot of players. And judging by the squad they already had and the new additions, it's going to be very difficult to see Sundowns not winning. Another team that might be a surprise package, I'll be honest, it's our eternal rivals, Orlando Pirates, because they've been fairly quiet, you know, especially in the transfer market. They've been fairly quiet. They haven't been making that much noise. Let's be fair, they really didn't do anything spectacular last season, so they can't afford to talk. But anyways, <laughs> I also see them up there in, in uh, fighting for the title, you know. They have a decent coach in, in Zimbabwe, he's very decent. That German guy has good tactics going forward, you know. So I feel like right now, this is his second season and he'll proper, proper I implement his strategies and the way he wants his team to play. So I see, I see Pirates doing very well this season. So, yeah. <laughs> Shout out Snoopko. Thank you for the PSO roundup, man. So for the European roundup, uh, we'll start off with the EPL. Shout out to Liverpool. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Also, Real Madrid won the league. Um, also, Juventus. Big shout out to Juventus. They've been running the, the Italian league for like, how many years now? We're losing count, man. Um, and then Bayern. Bayern is too much. <laughs> Bayern is too much. And also just looking at the, the year for Champions League. Bayern, from beating Barcelona to finishing off with PSG. But what can you ask for Bayern? You just look at the bench and you're like, those are just winners. Starting off with the EPL, you know, um, a lot of teams are buying players, a lot of teams are not buying players. And, you know, Liverpool just acquired now Thiago and Diego Jota. Man, those are just brilliant signings on their own. And already looking at Saar, the winger from um, Wetford, they might also get him based on just how they quick to acquire players and then you look at the teams up below them uh, Manchester City um, they've also got like Ferran Torres um, you look at United United just got um, Van der Beek um, oh back to Man City also got Nathan Ake from from, Burm from Bournemouth um, I don't know how he's going to play there because those, those are the it's, it's a very tough squad there already just replacing Vincent company it's not it's not the easiest thing um, and as you look at Chelsea, Chelsea have acquired almost the whole squad. Uh, but the only problem is now with Chelsea is that these players don't know the EPL. You know, so that could be a problem for them. They could do good and they could do extremely bad. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and we'll also see who will be champions, man. A lot of teams have acquired players. So there might be even a surprise. Maybe in Everton, we don't know. But off to, speak of Everton, I mean Madrid also let go of a few players, right? James Rodriguez and then Gareth Bale. Great Bell has been wanted to leave for the longest time. Um, you know, the move last season just broke up the last second, literally. You know, he was moving to China, that fell through the last second. So, how will Gareth Bale play in the EPL because he's been away for so long? I have no idea, but we'll see how it goes. And then, going now to the other Messi part. <laughs> Messi wanted to leave Barcelona, but, you know, the contract said, yo, there's this point. You didn't tell us until that point, so you can't leave. If you want to leave, they need to pay that 700 million and no team is going to pay that much. Messi, you're great and all, but no team is going to pay 700, especially in the coronavirus, you know, world. Nobody has that kind of money to pay Barcelona. Um, and just other news that you like or don't like, I don't know. But Neymar has left Nike. Um, he's gone to Puma. Uh, first of all, yo, that wood looks heavy. <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys saw Neymar play, but that boot looks heavy. Um, hopefully, he come up with his own 
and then we shall see how it does and also PSG are losing a lot of games is there something going on in the PSG camp that we don't know about we we won't know but we'll see we'll see and that's just the European roundup um, shout out to you guys for watching the Dawn Sports from the first episode until now tell your friends tell your friends this is the roundup shout out to Lumco shout out to myself thank you merchandise is coming soon merchandise coming soon peace out